for your journey in life, you need direction from the master. Get set, for the word you're about to hear is a roadmap out of every challenge into newness of life. Now, Apostle Jotan Obai Adams. Daniel 11, 32. The word of God is living and active. Hallelujah. It can make you what it says. If you care to believe it. Praise the Lord. In the amount of knowledge and revelation, if you care to know, you will be known. Hallelujah. Bishop Oedebo said, never struggle to be known. Seek to know and you will be known. Is it true? Have you heard it other saying before? Never struggle for people to know you. Seek to know. And when you know, you'll be known. Hallelujah. Never struggle to be known. Never struggle for the best seat. Never struggle for anything. Just seek to know something. Once you are known, you will be known. So the topic this evening is exploit of knowledge. Daniel 11.32. Exploit of knowledge. In a month of knowledge and revelation. Hallelujah. Exploit. Exploit. Daniel 11.32. Daniel 11, 32. Anyone there? Anyone there? Anyone there? Daniel chapter 11, verse 32. It says, Praise God. And such as do wickedly against the covenant, 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 shall he corrupt by flatteries. The B part is our emphasis. But the people that do know their God, <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 shall be what? Strong and do exploit. That means a sign that you know God is what? Strength and what? Exploit. That means if there is no strength in your life, that means you don't know God. If there is no exploit, that means you know God but not enough. Hallelujah. So like somebody that scored 20 over 100, he knew something about the course, but he didn't know enough to get an A. Somebody that graduated that class, he knows something about business admin. But what he knows is not enough to make him celebrate it. Is that not true? So a proof that you are going to make exploit in knowledge. There are things you need to do. Praise God. So that your knowledge can be a level where it can be celebrated. Many people can play the keyboard, but we, we, many less people go to the top and play the keyboard. Is that true? Many people can sing, but few people go to the top. Because there are factors that are needed to be able to make exploit. I had somebody say one time, like a pyramid in life. We have a lot of secondary school leavers at the beginning of the pyramid. When you move a little bit higher, you have undergraduate. When you move a bit higher, the, ma the master's graduate reduce the size of the pyramid. Is it true? When you move a little bit higher, PhD student can, you know the pyramid goes up toward the top. The higher the level, the more you improve, the more your level changes. You cut off from the equals. The more you know a level of information, it cut you off from the equals. The more you know, the more you know, the more you know, the more you know, the more you know. Your life keeps increasing unconsciously. Like Apostle Selman will always say that, grow to the version of yourself that you want to be. When you grow your mind, the things you are looking for will look for you. Have you heard him say that before? Say, so we don't need to struggle and make a fake life. Because if you have a fake love and get certain things, those things will leave you because your mind has not transformed enough to handle them. Your mind will fight them like an attack. So when you build your mind, those things naturally will gravitate towards you. So there's a dimension of knowledge that produces exploit. Then there's a level of knowledge that will just save you and live a normal, ordinary life. Praise the Lord. So today we are looking at a dimension of knowledge that will need you to make exploits in your life. It is possible. Praise God. So they that know their God shall be strong. Strength is a sign of knowledge. Hallelujah. You know, when anytime I'm teaching on faith, I used to say that you have, you have heard of little faith and great faith. Have you heard of that? And then weak faith and strong faith. Little faith and strong faith is a function of information. Weak faith and strong faith is a function of usage of faith. Exercising of faith. Hallelujah. So there is a dimension of knowledge. I want all of us to be great. I want to be great. I am obsessed about it. I want to be great before God. Praise the Lord. 
Because of one person, Jesus Christ, because of Jesus Christ, all the children in his age race were killed. Just to escape him. Hope you know that. Because of Jonah, somebody can be valuable that because of him, a city will not be destroyed. Somebody like Lord, think about that. You can be valuable to God. Hallelujah. I want to be valuable to him. You can be valuable to God. So much valuable. I want to be valuable to be. I want to be known by the kingdom of darkness. I want to be a, a living threat. I want to be useful to my generation. I don't want to become a Sunday school teacher. Hallelujah. I don't want to be a teacher of the Bible. People are blessed by what I'm teaching. No. I want real life transformation. If what we're saying is true, there should be proof. There should be results. Is that not true? If not, there's a level of knowledge that you will know that one day you become frustrated. Where is the God Gideon was telling the angel? Where is the God that we had that it did so X, Y, Z miracle? But where is he? Hallelujah. But every one of us can be great. I believe it and I know it. That everybody in life can be great. All the ambassadors in the world can be great and there will be no chaos in the world at all. Because the demon that left heaven is one over three. We have a lot of demons on the earth. And we have a lot of occult walls. How many religions do we have? I can't really, I, can't, I forgot the number, but I remember I, I, I knew, I, I shared it with us during the Great Commission. We have thousands of religions. All of them are fake. All the demons, all the occult world are active. All the demons are on earth. So if every pastor has one million congregants, the world will not see people play. Oh, you know that. The world is over 7 billion, almost 8 billion now. Local jail is big. That every church can have 15,000 people every Sunday morning. Is that true? So every man goes on in every business, if your business is clothed, 8 billion people need to wear clothes. No matter the number of tailors, you can still be great. Is that true? So no matter your business, actually, the strength of the business is based on the strength of the people. Pick milk when they producing in Nigeria, they were not producing such milk. It was only pig. And then cowbell, when they came to the country, they started producing such So people were saying, such milk, cowbell is for poor people, cowbell is for poor people, pig milk is for... They were never doing it. But multiply 1 million, 27 million people buying 50 naira such And then 100,000 buying 100 naira pig milk. With time, cowbell became richer. And then cow, pig, they now came down. Are they not doing such now? Yeah, because the strength of a business is the population. Is that not true? It's the population. So, even, so that's why any area of your life, in music, we don't have enough stars yet. The top is still vacant. There, there is a lot of people waiting for songs to be released. Praise God. A lot of it, we have few people at the top. Many songs can be sung. Many people, many songs have not left heaven. Praise the Lord. Many new keyboard in uh, sounds can be produced. Many inversions, many more, many things are yet to be produced. So there are this song on song, and there are these tasks read to be done. There's this creativity yet to be done. So our knowledge can graduate to a level of exploit. And tonight, as I bring the word of God to you, I believe you believe this vision with me. Are we together? You believe this vision with me that I will make exploit with what I know. And I will show you the key to get that level dimension of knowledge. Praise the Lord. Now, exploit means a heroic an, is it an or a, a heroic act or an outstanding extraordinary feat. Hallelujah. An achievement that is extraordinary. That is ordinary achievement. That is extraordinary achievement there is outstanding achievement praise the lord hey yeah 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 praise god extraordinary outstanding beyond the normal hallelujah if you get the federal government job today the average salary is 130,000 naira that's not true now 130,000 naira times 12 Let's say you have almost 1.7 million naira. That's true. Then it will take like four or five years to get a car or three years and then you start building a house. So after 10 years, you have a house, you have a car, you are married. That is a normal life. But in one year, 
or in six months or in three months you have you build a house have a that is the extraordinary is that not true that's extraordinary so that is what we mean by exploit dimension beyond the normal nobody in your lineage has ever achieved a particular result or ever crossed a particular level there is a level of knowledge that you can have that you can break break that barrier praise the lord and begin the first there is no there is no title there's no greatness become be, in becoming the first to do something in a clan that's not just a dream but have a desire that you be really big not a local champion Hallelujah. Not a local champion. I believe God will speak to us today. I want to give you eight examples of people that did exploit by a higher level of knowledge. Eight of them. Number one is Daniel. Daniel did exploit by the knowledge of the prophecy concerning the captivity of Israel. Daniel chapter 9 verse 2. He paid deliverance by knowing the fact and the details of their captivity. The Bible says, and Daniel understood by books. That is the reason why we know him today. Is that true? He prayed till the deliverance of Israel, they left Babylon. 70 years. Israel was supposed to live in Egypt for 400 years, according to the prophet Abraham. But because of Moses, they stayed for 430 years. Is that true? Now, Moses Jeremiah said that Israel was being in Babylon for 70 years. If Daniel had not stood, they would have extended. But when you understood by books that the number of their captivity is 70 years, that was it. So you can understand by reading the Bible that the captivity or poverty your lineage has come to an end from you henceforth. Do you understand what I'm saying? That if your family has been broke, they define you as poverty. Nobody can boast of a six figure in his account. You don't know your uncle, anybody that when you're in a hospital and they need one millionaire, you know that you had gone. Do you understand what I'm talking about? But then when you understood from books the power of deliverance of finances, you can be delivered. About marital problem, about any generational cause. Once you know it, and then you know it, and you know that you know that you know, hallelujah. That you are free from it in the name of Jesus. So the power of deliverance by knowledge. Our first topic, when we started learning and deliverance, was the deliverance power of knowledge. Is that true? Second person is Job, that did exploit by knowledge. In Job 19.25, and then Job 13.15, there was a level of knowledge about God that he knew that made Job to sustain his infirmity. Praise the Lord. He maintained an unbending conviction in the midst of challenges based on the knowledge of God's faithfulness. Job 19.25 and then Job 13.15. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. By knowing the faithfulness of God, our leader, Job 19, 25. Bible says, For I know, yeah, yeah. I know what? That my Redeemer liveth. I know, I know, I know, I know. And that he shall stand at the latter day upon the earth. Praise the Lord. Job 13, 15. The Bible says, Though he slay me, yet will I trust in him. <laughs> But I will maintain my own ways before him. He knew somehow, somehow, that the end, he will smile. He knew God is faithful. Praise God. This early morning, I was meditating about changing my accommodation. Since I'm changing my accommodation by next week. And looking at where I'm living to where I'm going to. <laughs> Hallelujah. When I looked at it, I said... Four years ago or years ago, I knew that days like this and better days like this are coming. When you want to compare to where I am, it's like one time to raise power. What? <laughs> Is there any power? Just one, just one thing that I did there will pay the rent of where I was staying for for more than ten years. Just one thing I bought in the new. That is, I knew that God is faithful. One day, that is now at this level, I know that one day will be in a glass house. 
That is not it. I know that it will happen. That is why I will worship God, serve him, and be dedicated. It will happen. I was, I, I am trekking, or oh, you are not mobile. I know that God is faithful. You are giving, you are paying sacrifices, you are sowing. I know that God is a rewarder. Of the, I know that God's faithfulness can never be lied to. How you get that? Bible says, he that cometh to God must believe that he is. And what? A rewarder of they that diligently seek him. So I diligently fast. I diligently pray. I diligently study. I evangelize with passion. Because I know that he's a God. That, so Job this exploit by knowing that God will not fail him. How you get that? He knows that God will not fail him. May you have that kind of dimension of knowledge in the name of Jesus Christ. May you not give up on the faithfulness of God. Ha, God is faithful. Look at your neighbor and say, God is faithful. Let me tell you something. If you are in a condition that looks as if you are in a quagmire, if not for God's faithfulness, you will be worse than that. That is the truth. If not for God's faithfulness, we will be worse than that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So Job did exploit. By that knowledge, the Bible says, his wife said, cause God and die. Say, why do you feel like a foolish woman or foolish woman? Should we only expect good from God and not evil? That statement is not correct anyway. Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise God. <laughs> is it correct? You know, some people call from the book of uh, Songs of Solomon, God give it and God take it. That is not biblical. You, not every statement because what was made by Solomon is correct. He said it in a backsliding state. Is that not true? Some of the statements, yes. So we have to look at. So he said, and then he remained faithful. Didn't insult God. Didn't insult. The only thing he did was to cause the day he came to earth. And the Bible says his latter end was greater. Seven times. He married a brand new wife, I believe. Will you marry that same woman? Hey. Gave back to what? Jemima, Kizia, and Karen Haposh. Three, Bible says, in their land they were the fairest of the ladies. Yes, by God's faithfulness. Hallelujah! The woman that married Daddy W. Kumuyi, his second wife, she married him at sixty something or fifty something as a virgin. All insults, people were insulting her, compromise. Okay, get pregnant and have a child. This is she said, God is faithful. God will give me a husband. God is faithful. God will give me a husband. God is faithful. She didn't compromise. Just have a child out of well, you are getting old. Many of is coming. Many, you are not at many of full stop. You will not just have a baby. How you get that? Compromise. He said, No, God is faithful by marrying daddy. The of Kumui, just imagine if she has married. Who will she have married before it comes to him? That's, there are women that when they marry certain husbands, when the husband died, they cannot marry again. Margaret Benson, it that also couldn't remarry when Archbishop Benson, that also is dead. Don't think about the marriage and Bishop Benzies. Who will you marry? The wife of Martin Luther King Jr. When Martin Luther was shot dead, she did not remarry. She's allowed to live in one of the highest Pentagon in the USA. Up all by loan. By herself. I read one of TTJ's books. He was saying a story where he went to meet her. She was his all. She didn't marry. Because there's a level of people that when they are in your life, when they go, you can you just you can't, they can't be replaced. By their weightiness and gravity. Are we together? Alright. Number third example is Mary. In Luke chapter 1 verse 38. Luke 1 38. Mary did exploit by connecting to greatness. By the knowledge of the power of surrendering to God's will. Hallelujah. You will give back to a child out of well luck. Let your will be done. Let your will be done. You will do this. Think about that. Think about the, the, the... In Israel, if a virgin is caught with a child, she's turned to death. You, you know that, that correct? Virginity is still... Today we still have virgins in Israel. They are still waiting for Jesus Christ to come. You hardly have prostitutes in Israel. Praise the Lord. Virginity is highly esteemed. So imagine coming back two weeks to your wedding. And then you say, I have a pregnancy. By who? By the Holy Ghost. That's never happened before. Now if, if, now if we do it now, we can, say, we can say maybe it happened. Maybe it can, it can happen again. Never happened before. You know, sometimes when you read the Bible, eh, I want you to be soft on the characters in the Bible. 
Now when you read the Israelites in the Bible, you can say, can you just imagine their unbelief? Just imagine. If you went there, you would have done worse. There was never a book there. You, you have the Bible I've like, been reading for 35 years, 25 years. Look at your life. They, they have never had a scripture. They have never had a prior experience. I would get up. But she surrendered. Mint. Living Lagos, I say, God has said I should see in Kogi State because I have a purpose to fulfill. You look like madness and absurdity. Absurdity. You look what that is in local Kogi State. But that is the power of surrender. Is that true? Surrender this or surrendering yourself and watch God make a wonder out of your life. You can never surrender your will to God and regret it. Never. Anything God asks you to do, if he asks you to stay in the wilderness, surrender, say, let your will be done. Can you say with me, let your will be done? Let your will be done in my life in the name of Jesus Christ. So by power of surrendering herself, God asked Bishop Oedebo, he came to pray one day. He said, my son David, what did you bring for me? He said, Lord, I don't have anything, only my suddenly. And that time his wife just gave birth to their first, I don't know what any son. And they needed baby food. No baby food now. There was no baby food. All the money he had was that salary. Say, God, what do you have? God, what do you want? God said, that your salary in your pocket. Say, God, you want it? You have it. He gave it to God. Do you know what happened? Do you want to know? God said, my son David, even if you want to be poor, it is too late. Do you understand, do you understand that kind of statement? Let's say today, you decided you want to be broke. It is too late. But their first year of 1996. How old were you that time? 1996. You know what happened in Saturday service? Not that they say we are doing launching for airplane. He just came. He was about to go. God said it's time to repair your graphics. He said, okay, God, we are ready. Came to the office without prior I said, now we are time to buy. If you want to give them money, go to this place and give them money. One offering and the hatching. One. No price to their money, not on their money. Think about that level. By just surrendering his will, just how much is the money? Praise the Lord. Many people have sacrificed their whole salary, their whole service. I was listening to the testimony of a guy in recently. Said so there was a time the pastor, they were having a crusade. Then Bishop David, Pastor David BME said that the amount the rock, rock, you know, to put rock carpet on the altar. Was so, so and so among God is saying somebody from the congregation should come and do it. So the man has saved money to buy a car. You know, a car, you know, that kind of car that the mechanic used to put for sale. So that was the money he saved to buy it. Then he just fell in his heart. He's the one, he's the one. Somebody, a wealthy man, come up and take Pastor David BM and say that you're not the one. Somebody has come out there, he came out to say, Yeah, the one. Then he robbed it with that money. Next two weeks, he got a contract. He bought a brand new. Excellent yeah. metal, not even rubber. Yes. His life was changed eternally. When you see, when he was testifying, he's like balance brought forward. We had two or three are gathered. You know why two people like that, like three people to get put together? That is the way. It's crazy wealth. You will know. By power of surrender. So surrender your will. Know that there is power in surrender. Are we together? Be everybody we are in the God's kingdom today, surrender at the point. They gave up something. They surrendered something. I will get So Mary, by surrender, this exploit, by the knowledge of surrender, number three, ex for the example, is David. David achieved a great feat by the knowledge of the potency of his God. <laughs> he achieved a great feat by knowing first Samuel 17 45. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Then David said to the Philistine, Thou comest to me with the sword and with the spear and with the shield, but I come to thee in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of the armies of Israel, whom thou hast what defied. He knows that God, just like the three Hebrew children, they say that God is able to save us. But just in case he doesn't, he will not bow. Think about you. 
if there is an altar in your lineage and they want to destroy it and they send you to go and destroy it, will you go? Did you understand what I'm saying? There is a shrine in your family and they want to destroy it. So you are a man of God. Now I think to go and destroy this altar. Will you go? Ah, many people will not go. <laughs> because they don't even believe in the potency of their God. That's the truth. Hallelujah. Amen. When you say there is charm in this place, you can bring a native daughter, he will be coming. Where is the charm? I want to put it confidently. Is that not true? But when you call a pastor and say, yeah, I'm, I'm, I, I, no, don't worry, I'm not coming. Many pastors will not go. But they don't even believe they are God. A young occultist will carry a gun and say, shoot me, shoot me. Or did she? Because he believed Baba gave him a tortoise, gave him something and he ate and swallowed. God cannot enter his body. He knows and believes in that Baba. But you, you have been passing and reading Psalms 23, Psalms 91, Isaiah 54, Isaiah 57, you know Matthew 27, you know Luke 10, 19, you know all the scriptures of protection, all of them you know. But when they say, I'm robust in your house, you are wee wee. Because you don't believe that God can do that, the truth. Many Christians don't believe that God can prosper them. That is why when they say, hey, hey, go, go, go out here preaching about forget pastors, forget pastors, they prefer, let's say, let me tell you the truth then. Eh? If I, I, I one day saw a fairly, very foolish, more stupid question online, that if there is a, a financial teaching, if there's a seminar on money by Don Kote and by Daddy E. who will you go to attend? I know there's, I know some people, somebody here may be saying, Don't go to you're not in this love in Jesus' name. You are delivered by power. How your mind cannot think like that. You can't think like that. How can you think Don't go to will be there to teach you by yourself? Let me tell you, see, to prosper in our kingdom is not the same as their kingdom. If Don't go to teach you his formula, you will not prosper according to the kingdom. You must know that you will have the money, but the money will destroy you. Do you what I'm talking about? There is a way to prosper in the kingdom. And the best person to teach you is somebody from the kingdom. Are we together? And uh, an Oboni man does not initiate somebody to Ekanka. He has to be an Ekanka person initiating a new Ekanka member. True, yes. Don't go there, cannot teach you kingdom finances. He doesn't tithe. There is a book many people say many people should read, The Richest Man in Babylon. Have you read that book? Richest Man in Babylon. Many people recommend that book. I read it to on 200 level, but in that time, 200 level, I knew that book was not biblical. Because he was against dieting, against many biblical principles. Are we together? Praise the Lord. So David, by knowing God, I know that God is able to furnish a table in the wilderness. I know that God is able to supply. I know that God can stop me from dying. Praise God, Lord. I know that God can raise me from anywhere and put you on the map of the wall. Praise the Lord. Number fifth person that met Esther is Esther. Esther overturned an irreversible decree by the knowledge of the power of fasting and boldness. It is in Esther chapter 4 verse 16. She knew that go and fast for me for three days. And she said, if I perish, I perish. In those days, there is what we call the law of the Medes and the Petis. Once it is stated that your case is finished. But that damsel reversed it. I will get up. She knows that power, fasting works. How many of you believe fasting works? You, do you believe it works? Have you seen the result of fasting? Fasting works. Hallelujah. Three days fasting, five days fasting, 21 days fasting, 100 days fasting, 40 days fasting. Is that not true? <laughs> Just there in one of these days, 100 days, no breakfast, no lunch. We'll meet in the evening. Tell your stomach, we'll meet in the evening for the next 100 days. In the morning, no food. In the afternoon, no food. 100 solid days. And those kabla they can take break in one hour in interval. Read some say, play some messages. And after 100 days, you can't be the same. Even if you want to be the same, you can't. How do you get that? 
100 days. You must take some daring spiritual bold steps. Hallelujah. Remember the time when I fasted that I ate in the morning and I nearly died. My body was not used to food in the morning. <laughs> yes. I ate in the morning after years. No, not years. Like with S. Like <laughs> and my body, my stomach was ah, it was not used to breakfast. Yes. That was when my life changed 360 degree. Is it 360 180 degree? Is it 360 180? 360 will bring you back to the former place. No, 180. <laughs> it went to the other side. Hallelujah. Praise God. So number fifth person is Samson. Samson did exploit and did the impossible by the power of consecration. In Judges chapter 16 from verse 16 to 17, the Bible says, only secret he had was the consecration of his hair. Every other consecration, he defiled them. Praise the Lord. And then the last example I will give you is Uzziah, who did exploit by knowledge and by the help of God. He created and invented warring equipment. Praise the Lord. Now, how do you generate the dimension level of knowledge that will produce exploit? There is a way to generate. Remember when I said in the beginning, there is not every dimension of knowledge that will produce what? Exploit. Do you remember what I said that? Just like not everything. I don't know if you know where, where your kidney is. Do you know where your kidney is? Do you know where your kidney is? Do you know where your liver is? Do you know where your lungs is? Do you know where your esophagus oh, is? But does that make you a medical doctor? It doesn't. But you know something. Is that true? But that is not enough to qualify as a medical doctor. So like you can know a level of truth, but it will not qualify to make exploit in that area. There's a level of knowledge you need. Hallelujah. Many people, all they know to do with their computer is on and off. Play the movie. On, go to video, play song. Many people is like, are like that. Many people, what they know to do with their iPhone, phone, make call and receive call and send text messages and browse. Is that not true? Yes. What they can do is, 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 a, is a whole machine right in their hand. Praise the Lord. So there's a dimension, a level of knowledge you need. You need to know short called control S, control C, control Y, control delete, control shift. You need to know extra things about the keyboard to make you maximize the keyboard. Is that not true? To really do exploit, when you give somebody a, a, a quality keyboard, what he will do with that keyboard, you will not believe. Why? Because his level of knowledge can produce exploit in that area. Hallelujah. When you give me this keyboard, I can only play on KC. And I can only play how many notes? One, two, three, four, four. The fifth one is strong. Praise God. But then put somebody else on this keyboard. And then you will not be hungry for three hours. Just enjoying the melody. Is that true? And after, after 20 minutes with me, you say, thank you, sir. I was blessed. And you excuse me. But you will stay for three hours just enjoying Mozart. You know Mozart? You know that kind of music. Very, very Perfect, excellent guys. You see them when they play keyboard with their eyes off, turning backward. They are, they are they, like they are glued to the keyboard. Perfections, people. Hallelujah. They are doing exploit at their realm because of the level of knowledge they have. Number one way is acquire the best, the surest, the most censored information available in that area or field. Shall I come again? The first key to generate the exploit dimension of knowledge is to acquire what? The best. The surest. The most censored information available in that area or field. Do we get that? In Daniel chapter 1 from verse 19 to 20. It's a story of Daniel. He was trained in the best schools of Babylon. Don't forget that. Do you remember that? In the best schools. You know, on a normal day, when you say, where's your certificate? Meet, I can't, what? you saw the information tech, right? Where's your certificate? I saw it from information tech. From which university? From Pentecost University of Ghana. Wow! In Nigeria, we celebrate you. Wow, wow, wow. That's very, very excellent. A perfect, very, very expensive school. A very, very good school. And then after you pass, somebody else come. What's your name? My name is Jotam. What is this only information? From what university? Harvard 
in the university. Are you serious? We don't, we'll, we'll put me behind first and then face me. Two of us. What <laughs> you know that even if the, the, it is the same information technology, information technology, but where the knowledge is acquired cannot be compared to. Is that true? Yes. In Ghana, they can come and the lecturer, I don't know if the proper university is a fair. Let me use somebody from Nigeria University. Hallelujah. The lecturer can come in the in a classroom of 400 students. How are you today? And the lecturer is four rings. Ah, please, I need to attend to something here. Eh? Class, they come and collect material in the office. Yeah? We will fix this next three months. Be serious. Take the material serious and you will go. And that is the way, the, and then at the end, you wear material gown. So you are a chemical engineering first class. And they give you a system, system, a simple, you are not, you are not an engineer anything. <laughs> is that not true? <laughs> you go abroad, you start from one level. Because what you have is not yet the best. You may be a local champion in the country or in your school. But it's not the best. Look for the best of the best. That is why I intentionally follow some people online. Follow the best in that field. Do you understand what I'm saying? In your area, if it's engineering, follow the best. Look for the best in that particular area. Follow them online. Follow what they do. Follow their routine. Follow their post. Follow the team. Follow the people they follow. Do you understand? If it is music, who should you follow? Follow proven artists. International, national, and cross-national. All together. Follow the best available in that area. There are certain things people like that will never do. Is that true? There is something, something Nathaniel Bassi would never do on stage. Never. Why? Because he has built himself to a level of competence that has certain you will never expect him to do it. He will never do it. Hallelujah. Example, coming up and collecting the mic and just beginning to worship. No, we are just here to worship the Lord. Thank you for Without acknowledging the pastor that brought him, he will never do that. So you as an uncle, you, you, you grew up in local jar where nobody, no man of God is respected. The young pastor, the young guy can come yeah, call up Brown and come and sing on stage. I just collect the mic. You know, they're here to worship God. I don't I, I want to all, all of us to lift our eyes off men and focus on God. Forget man and let's exalt the name of the Lord. You see, and then these are the people you are following. You are gone. Do you understand? Follow the best. I have watched in Nazareth when they are there. I have watched all of them the way all of them. It's the same order of the that is that they are the top class people in this country. Follow somebody like Don Moin. Follow the Ron Kennelly people that have been in the arts for 20, 35 years. Get the best of information from them. Follow people like Marvin Sapp that has won the best vocal, vocal leader for years. That's actually my best artist. Has sung consistently and won the award for years. I'll get that. Follow them on and then know about them, know about their concert. Because you see, you, you know, before something happens, it must be in your mind. You must have think about the concert. Think about a stand-up concert. Think about hosting the concert in Kafas Hall, the biggest hall in this local government. Think about having a night like the experience in local giant in the conference stadium. Think about it. Do you know what I'm talking about? Think about a live concert. Then, when you think about something like that, it, in fact, maybe the, the reason why you are following some people is because of what is on your mind. Maybe you are thinking locally. Because if you are thinking big, they are the kind of people you follow. Think about how do, why do they get their sound? How do they, how do they produce this kind of excellent sound? Their recording is excellent. To produce that level of exploit, follow the best information available. How do you get that? Best. Always go for renewal. Renew your mind. Increase. If you are in the academic field, I suggest you go to the highest level. Go for a PhD. Hallelujah. It's possible. Yesterday I read of a young guy. He was doing Molue. You know Molue? Lagos. And then somebody, that is where he got admission. And then yesterday I was all, he was graduating and just applying for his doctorate degree or something like that. Think about somebody like that that doesn't have opportunity. He struggled all school, paid the school fees. Hallelujah. If I was in the academic field, I would have done PhD. I will go for it. Go for the best in that area. And be the topmost brain. Don't just limit yourself at a particular level. Masters is good enough. It will pick you at the level. Be the best. And you are, you are young now. 
Your brain is this sharp. You see, graduate with a good result, go for masters. After masters, apply for the PhD. Start it. Be a professor in that field. Are we together? So go for the best information. Don't limit your mind. Hallelujah. And if you're in the music, make, sure, make up your mind. You know, my, my, myself, I made mean, one, one guy for Labin. Well, I, I, you see, when you hear his songs, international world class standard. World class. Somebody was, I, I, I was thinking when 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 you sang it, um, um, I will never be satisfied. When he told me it was from me, I could not believe it. I think it was a foreign song. How to get a, that is a, a song that has crossed Africa, crossed Nigeria. There are songs that will not cross Nigeria. You know some gospel song. You know that. Their boundary is this and then they are making waves in Nigeria, but you will never see it on any international chart. So go for the best knowledge. If the shoe make the shoe look like foreign Italian brown shoe, anything you are doing, go for the best knowledge available in that area. Are we together? Now, as a pastor, I go for the. I just been in my Bible school in Living Faith, one of the biggest churches in the world, Salvation, and all of them, I will do them all, because I want to associate with the best. Just sitting down in that environment, your brain will start working. You know what I'm talking about? Sitting, just being there. I want to associate with the best. I follow the best. One that I intentionally wrote their names. Search them on Facebook. Follow, follow, follow. I follow them live, subscribe to all their channels. Because I want my mind to resonate with greatness. Are you understand what I'm talking about? One man to be resonant not that I'm thinking I'm thinking local time. My man is not local ja. I am not from local I'm from Zion. Hallelujah. World class. Because of that, you'll be able to make exploit. Hallelujah. I associate with people that have I, I follow people that have big congregations. Let my mind be picturing crowd. What I'm talking about? Yes. Number two key is develop yourself to the point of competence and excellence. Once you go for the best knowledge, what do you do? Develop yourself to the point of what? Competence and excellence. Judges chapter 11 from verse 3 to 5 is the story of Jephthah when he was driven away by his brothers. The Bible says he went to the land of Top. Praise God. And then years later when they were in trouble, they came to look for him. In 2 Samuel 23, from verse 8 to 16. In verse 22, some men came to David in the cave of Adullam and he trained them. And they became the mighty men of David. One man killed 800 people. One man, he was walking in snow. Snow is slippery. The lion went inside. He entered the lion with a staff and killed the lion. Just think about looking for, think about that level of looking for trouble. When you say, God has saved me, I run away. But he entered the pit. Two of the men, uh, David said, wanted to drink water. They entered. Just think about that level of exploit. I was together. Because they built themselves. One of them said, the Bible said, he stood in the field, feet of Nantes. His sword cleaved to his hands. And he killed 600 people at one point. Because they built themselves to competence. How do you that? To competence. Build your competence to a level. I think I have preached a message competence is on our telegram page i'm sure it will be like 2018 or 2019 message yes competence so try and get and listen to it it will really bless you praise the lord so build yourself to a level of competence you know what is competence i wanted to do a project i learned it the hard way i wanted to do a project in four zeros that time and then i have i knew somebody that could do it i was very competent but i said this one is my brother like i know him let me give him the contract and the guy produced an African made product for me. You know, the, you know, you know, so that situation where you say, What I ordered was versus what I got. You know, that kind of situation. I'm telling you. That was when I learned, I got that revelation, that message, pursue competence, forget people. If I have a Christian, two Christians, one is a church member and is not competent. And I have somebody as a Christian is competent somewhere, I will go with that competent person. Will you do, will you do the same? If you want to operate your child, and then I am your pastor, I'm not competent. And then another pastor is competent. Who will you go to? Why will, why will, you, why will you say I'm your pastor? No, this is my pastor, really. But I'm, I am not competent. Will you come to me? You will not come to me. So why should you come to, should I come to you as a member when you are not competent? Do you understand what I'm talking about? Be 
build yourself to a level of competence. <laughs> there is a way to preach to rich people. There is a way to preach to young guys. You see, when I'm preaching to young guys like you now, or like all of us that are young, the kind of examples I have to use are our relevant examples. Now, all of us can relate. Is that not true? If I'm standing before old men, I have to look for examples that they can relate with. I cannot be telling them, just imagine if you're having emotional rush. They may not understand, but they, have, they can understand, but their, their, their mind is thinking, their responsibility is different. When I want to explain responsibility to men, it will be different from responsibility to a married man of 35 years. So as a preacher, if I want to be relevant, really relevant, I really want to make exploit, I have to build myself that all the age range, I can be relevant to them. Anglican church here, there was a time, there was a conference by NCC at that time, and then I was invited to preach to children. Children. The topic I wrote was the power of self-control. <laughs> to the day I've not preached that sermon, to today, I, 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 I went on stage, kept my daughter, fasted for days. Fasted for days for that program. These children must cast fire. I was there with fire. I did not release it. I couldn't release it. I kept the daughter open. I was used to others. Lord, hallelujah. Everybody sit down. Everybody is quiet. Now, our men, like this, as you say, men text, one is talking there, one is moving here, one is, and they are so good. Discussion. I tell you, I tell you, I say, what is happening? Calm down, calm down. Before you say something, they, say, they were not follow. I could not preach. Say, Jesus, I'm telling you, I could not preach that sermon. I was frustrated. I have to call one young, please, one of the people of me, please come and continue. Literally, I gave the mic and I sat down. When the lady took the mic, she was flowing. I said, what is happening? I was sitting down there, charged, electrified. All I did was to come and do impartation, but I wanted to preach that. You no, know, it's like a lady build of us. I could not display what I have. Hallelujah. Now I have to build myself to a level I can preach to children. Dr. Paul and I have yearly conference for Sunday school children, yearly. He has yearly youth conference. He has yearly marriage conference. He has yearly adult conference. He has minister's conference. He can preach what we call ambidextrous. You know ambidextrous? Two-handed, left-handed, right-handed. Anywhere you call him, you are equal to the tax. How you get that? So build yourself to that level of competence so that in case you have, you were invited to a church, and the keyboard is, is a complete prayer point. He has never had that an embassy song. He has thought to talk of the not talk of he, he, not to talk of the recent songs. And then you, you go, no shadow, you will light up. And the guy, all he knows is Kunle Ajayi, Yoruba songs. That is all the tools he can play. As a music artist, you should be able to build yourself. That no matter what the guy plays, he will not diminish your ministration. This is what I'm talking about. Yes. You should be able to build yourself to that competence. That no matter what, no, no matter what the backup are doing, you, are, you have a way of carrying them alone. You know, when you see somebody that is new to the stage, you will know that this person is new to stage. He doesn't know stage management. Is it true? Yes. So build yourself to a level where you are very, very competent. If I give you a mic in a Rebonge Kurose, will you be able to preach? <laughs> Hallelujah. If I give you a mic to sing in the experience, will you be able to worship? If I give you the mic to be able to sing in nations worship, you know what I mean? Will you be able to worship? By the time you lift your head and see 100,000 people first, we we'll look down, we'll see we we. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah. All the worship songs you knew evaporate. Because you have not built capacity. One day we invited in, 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 in the camp, orientation camp, the last orientation camp. We invited a man of God that was supposed to come and preach. He did not come. And the auditorium was packed to overflow. And couples were already tired. You know, some people just came to work and they were already leaving. They were leaving. They were leaving. And I didn't prepare. I was not set. I was nothing. Couples were, they were leaving, leaving. Even the president, people... You know, there's a way you can delay service. Begin to worship. 
They know that this worship is turning to something else. Now begin to listen. Testify. Everybody has testified. Come on. We did all the, the things to delay. I'm telling the man did arrive. It was already 12 or 1. I'm telling you. I had to take up the stage. I had to collect the mic. When I was, I'm telling you, when I began to worship, I didn't even know where I was preaching from. Yes. I didn't know. Where will I start from? New Testament, Old Testament, or Middle Testament? Which topic? I didn't know. <laughs> but what helped me that day was the person that led the song, after they led the, the worship, was a very anointed lady. I just speak from there. I'm from there. Ah! After I finish, the third person in NYC came to me. She was in the service. Well, Elsa, how are you? You know, the way Elsa to come to greet you, you know, you made sense. <laughs> Think about, after the preaching, I call, I say, okay, now if come out I thought nobody would come outside I'm telling you we got almost 2 million that Sunday yes from all my NYC experience all the camps I've had that was the highest yes when I gave the call I looked back so that I would not I said, in case you, I, I would say in case you not come that one will close God will do his work I was sure people came and when they came they were crying Married women with children, those that did post NYC, and they were crying. What did I say? Even with myself, I was wondering what I said. I was not agitated. I was, I was my only fear was I was not prepared. But the crowd, forget it. Do you know what I'm about? So build yourself to a level of competence. I am still developing myself. So that when I want to be a level where anytime they hand over their mouth to you. Speak on the soul of the of the leg of a man. I'll have the scripture text to quote. Do you understand? The topic is the soul of the foot of a human being. I should have a scripture to quote and then direct and go there. Do you understand what I'm talking about? If they come and preach on the hair of a woman, the potency. I saw a topic one day on, on chat. What's up? A group. A message. The message was this is for ladies, a group. This is my stomach. You know, ladies have a problem with their stomach. They always want flat to me. And that was the topic of the third sermon. Think about that. There should be a text you can quote from the Bible that will explain that. Is that not true? Should I give you? Give me the topic. When is it time? Then I will quote it. That is, you put yourself to a level of competence. That you can talk about relationship. You can talk about faith. You can talk about finances. You can talk about witches and witchcraft. You can talk about Baba Lawa. You can talk about almost every area. You be a jack of all trades and master of one. Know something about football. Know something about music. Know about, blah, blah, blah. No, I want to know, know something about... Not only about forex, hallelujah. Don't know anything about Ben and Yard. No, no, don't know. In the name of Jesus Christ, hallelujah. <laughs> don't know, hallelujah. Don't know anything about what they um, the Bible says in sin be babies. Don't know anything about Baba Lao, Mama Lao. Don't know. All you need to know is how to handle them. Do you understand? Yes. Don't know anything about sleeping with somebody for vacation. No, don't know anything like that. Praise the Lord. Be baby now, but develop yourself to your company in every other area. When we talk about the president of Poland, where she said, You mean the president of Poland is a woman? You are living in 20th century. Hallelujah. Praise God. When we say your blood is flowing from upward, is blood, is blood flowing upward or downward? Let me know the century you are in. Is blood flowing upward or downward? Hey, you don't even know the century you are in now. Number three, the three key. Consistently, consistent creativity. Hallelujah. Be consistently creative and productive in that area. Hallelujah. Be what? Consistently creative and productive in that area. You know, the Bible is speaking of Abraham in Genesis chapter 18, verse 19. I know Abraham, he can con command his children. And Job chapter 1, verse 8. The Bible says, Job is a righteous man. Now, I, you know, sometimes when I, I remember the first time I, I looked at the channel of one of us here, and then I saw the number of the thousands of subscribers. I said, wait, you mean one person liked, subscribe. Another person liked, subscribe. And then 1,000 people did that. 2,000 people did that. 3,000, 4,000, 10,000. Ah, that tells you a level of consistency. Is that not true? Yes. Consistently produce results in that area. And one day you will be you make exploit. Consistently. Remain consistent. If I remain consistent with the word of God, I must make exploit. 
Tell us again, If I continually preach like this with fire, with revelation, with grace, I will grow and I will make it spread consistently. My knowledge will produce it. You know something? You know men's are water bill. How many of you know men's are water bill? Is he celebrated now? He said that all the messages he's preaching today are the messages he was preaching in a small classroom. He's wondering when he's preaching and people are shouting. He said those days he was preaching, he said that he's not, he's not preaching anything new. If they are consistently going to church, you notice that sometimes I have listened to messages that my spiritual father preached verbatim. Word to word, same point, same scripture. Do you understand here? Revelation is almost is progressive. It's just a grace that differs. Consistently produce results. Have you listened to a man of God and then in five messages he says the same thing in five different messages? Has it happened to you? Yes. So consistently produce results. If you are into business, consistently be productive. Consistently rem don't compromise quality for quantity. Do you understand that? Hallelujah. Consistently, anytime you hold the mic, consistently deliver. Do you understand what I'm talking about? Consistently. Don't say today it's three people or two people. No. Remain perpetual in deliverance. Perpetual fire. Anytime, any moment. Are we together? When you are consistently creative and consistently produce results, your knowledge will make exploit. Consistently. And then number four is add the necessary backups to knowledge. Now, last next, the last service of this word of knowledge and liberation will look at three levels of truth. There are three levels, hallelujah. Apart from knowledge, there are two other levels. When you add them, I wish to tell you now so that you know be here around. Uh, come that day, hallelujah. <laughs> there are two more levels. Because knowledge is not enough. Knowledge is the foundation. It's like nursery school. How you get that? There are two higher levels. And then number five, build yourself to be an authority in that field of knowledge. Hallelujah. When you talk about neurosurgeon, who will you call? Who? When you talk about politics in Nigeria, there are names you will call. Who, who will you call? You see? Names will come to your head. When you talk about worship in Nigeria, who will you call? Yes. You see, you are calling the names. Yes. There are, there are different people you will call. Is that true? Because there are authorities in that areas. When you talk about worship in Nigeria, praise in Africa, Nigeria, who will you call? There are names. When you talk about technology convention, I was speaking with Mr. Pais, they were telling me of the best photographer in Lagos or in Nigeria. When you talk about photography, is the best. When you talk about producers in Nigeria, there are people you call them because they have become authorities in that field. Are we together? So develop yourself to a point where you become an authority in that area. And then you make exploit. What are the keys to build knowledge dimension? Number one is what? Yes. Acquire okay, what? The best one? Show, I said the best, comma, show rest. And what? The most censored information in that field. Yes. Number two was? Develop yourself to a point of what? Competence and excellence. Yes. Number three. Consistently be creative and productive, and then your knowledge will produce a, an exploit dimension. And then finally, was what? Add the necessary backup. Yes, that was the backup, the last, and then the last was what? So then come, come next week, Friday, you get the necessary backup. Hallelujah. To add your knowledge. Is that correct? To add your knowledge. Can we be on your feet? Did, did you get something this evening at all? Now, can we appreciate God and say, Father, we thank you for your word. Thank you for your word. Can you say, Lord, help me to do exploit with what I know? As I apply these keys, I receive the grace. I receive the grace. I receive the grace to do exploit, extraordinary things. Extraordinary things. Man take the brother Bala da Kabaya da Manayash. Kilabra Gada Bayagada. Come and pray for grace. Don't forget, God is hearing you. I want you to always be conscious. Pray for grace. And say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I will be a local champion. I will make exploit. 
extraordinary thing. Now, can you make a request that any area you want to do an extraordinary thing, make a request for God in that area. Make a request to God for it. Now, I remember one time when I read, I had my mentor, Bishop Dacker, with me. He says, pray to God to show you the books to read. And God can lead you to the right books. There are millions of books, but there is a book you need that contains the information. Don't forget, I said that any information you need is in a book. There's a particular message you need to listen to. How many of you have ever had a message in your, mess, in your phone for long? You have never listened to it. And then one day you listen to it, you say, what? Why have I listened to this message? Has it ever happened to you? Oh, we have had a book and then so why haven't I read that book? For 37 years I've been so if I've read this book, has it ever happened to you? Yes. So praise and say I know I remember when I did that prayer, I began to get the messages and my life. It was just last year, middle last year. Yes, hallelujah. So pray and say, Father Lord, lead me to the right knowledge I need to get to make exploit. Pray that prayer. Don't worry, don't forget God is hearing you. Pray. Shama landa brada balanda gabro da balanda kobeda dia. Jakida mando baraba hasha taya baladia. Shamante ketebe reketebe ledi kabara kadaya. Exploit for they that know their God shall be strong and do exploit. Lemente kete prene melente ke prana malana satika prodo boko dozita prada balana kada baragala nagada bayana mana. Is that, can we sing any song that has to do with going to the world? Is there any song like that? I want to sing one song and that has to do with us going to the world. Think of any song. Yes, we connected to this world through our senses. I want to prophesy. I'm not listening to that song. By words tangible and easy to comprehend. There are days. When it seems we go in nowhere there, trust your faith to show you the way and give a listing to what faith says to you. Status is changing, no more decline. I'm on my way to better days. Status is changing. No more decline. Come on. Status is changing. Prophesy your life. Status is changing. No more decline. I'm on my way. I'm on my way. I'm on my way. I'm on my way to better, better days. Hallelujah. Lift up your hands and lift to God. The Bible said they prosper by the prophesying of prophet Haggai and Zachariah, the son of Edo. I speak to your life as you decide to go for exploit dimension. I will hear of your exploits 
in the name of Jesus you will make waves I am on the Kedia torrential waves torrential and quaking waves your news will spread you will be the back covers of magazines by the dimension of the exploit in the name of Jesus the dimension you will go beyond territories beyond countries beyond continent in the name of Jesus as you believe it will happen in the name of Jesus you will make exploit in Jesus precious name we pray I have peace in my spirit that God has answered us and if you apply this it's all over I will just carry one magazine what am I seeing more than one granny ay 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 I will just carry one magazine I will just put up one magazine latest engineering development ah uh, I, I, I will just I will just go to a boutique from foundation to roof is glass before you enter there you know have you heard about the Harrods in UK Harrods have you heard about it that is if you enter there you have money so that uh, the owner of that boutique is who who, who is the owner of that person real bar it means uh, okay one of the things one of the things we'll do hallelujah yes we will see fleet of of cars i said this, this is one of my side transport business by export you alone so, so, so supplying the food of a state supplying the rice one man is supplying all the rice in this nation all the cement is that not true that is exploit it will happen it will happen in the name of Jesus there is a God that can make it come to pass you see prophecies like that they will happen they will come to pass you know the things are I search all over couldn't find nobody there's a God that can do it I look high and low still couldn't find nobody nobody great nobody great alone Nobody greater than you. Lord, if the, if the unbelievers can do it, you can do it in our lives. Nobody greater. Yeah, I have a hush. Nobody greater. Nobody greater than you. Thank you, Lord, for your presence. Thank you for the day. Thank you for the members that are now around with Professor. The Lord, let this anointing and let this grace extend to their lives. Exploit in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Can we share the grace and fellowship? The compass you need has just been delivered into your hands. You can get all the anointed messages on our Telegram channel at Shekinah Encounter Center Sermons. For more inquiries, you can also call 80 65 